So, um, just to inform you, I, I was not in fact warming my iced coffee. I don't have any coffee left. I was uh, actually um, warming a... Uh, I got a new microwave, by the way. I guess that's relevant to stream in some way. I was warming a English muffin with some cheese. Because I'm very pedestrian. Uh, anyone here interested in new Fear and Hunger game? Don't Google or look it up, Mimi, if you don't know. What is Fear and Hunger game? We should make it so that song loops somehow. I can. I can do that. Um, I, unfortunately, I can only choose between, like, make it loop or make it fade when I press the button again. So I guess I could choose um, loop. Not a very difficult thing to do. Uh, let me see here. Loop. Okay. Let's see how that works. The sequel to Don't Look It Up Also Bimble. Why? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Bimple, and we, we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to see Sentius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Rudimentary wooden zipline handlebar. Okay. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. Nice. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Um, is game expected to be somewhat choppy? I'm dropping frames right now. It should clear up in a minute. And it looks like it's cleared up now, so let me know if things are still choppy. All right. See you around. Yay, we go we. <laughs> So it has such brutal game design that I even consider it too much. Well, should I not be looking up the game because I don't want to spoil it for myself? Where, what is it available on? Like what platform? This is why I hate it when games don't let me invert my Y axis is because then I get messed up forever. We Oh, that was kind of choppy. Oh. I'm your best behavior, I trust. So now do I talk? I have to talk to Cessus again? Cessius? Whatever are you wearing? <laughs> we. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I'm not from around here. Really? 
I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mask. I won't enjoy it at customs. all. Now remind me, why are we having this conversation? Okay. Uh, how do you feel about this game so far? I like it. It, it asks some interesting questions about, about morality that I really enjoy. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. And fear and hunger isn't for you. Okay. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? When did you see... When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta look up something real quick. Oh yeah, autumn sale. Horror dungeon crawler set in the dark and hopeless dungeons of fear and hunger. It's got very positive reviews. You fail a coin toss and lose two hours of progress. Uh, she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off eventually and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans your father didn't mention any of this when i spoke to him any idea that why doesn't surprise me to him it was like a prize cow wandering off from its paddock he's upset of course says he's too busy with the election to help look for her so he's letting horatius do the heavy lifting some good that's done possible for her lover was involved so anyone who's joining um so far and don't know what's going on and i'll try to keep things very spoiler light if you are intending to play this game yourself uh but we've been uh, trapped in a uh, basically an ancient lost city that uh if anyone breaks a law then everyone dies and uh we're trying to figure out if there's a way to escape we're talking to a lot of people and trying to find out how they got here in the first place. And uh, we're trying to, we're just, just like, we're just kind of exploring and finding uh, little, you know, threads, pieces, bits and pieces to a lot of little stories here and there. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, Whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Did someone call someone a mouth breather? Is the wind that glides across the earth majestically? Why are all your names also similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. I'll speak to you again the next loop.
We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. I gotta say, I really appreciate the voice acting in this game. I'm Bimple, and we've had this conversation before. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed. You have to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? I couldn't stop it from being broken. Ah, I see. Look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Um, can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? Take it easy, I'm a 10. I think I know, uh, I think I know who it is. Yes? It's the assassin who arrived in the city this morning. What? An assassin? What are you talking about? Apparently he was sent by Nero to assassinate someone in the city named Quinticus. Quint... Quinctius. Then what are you doing here, talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go, quickly. As Magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand, forthwith. Uh... How would I execute him? Anywhere you can. Despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon if one looks hard enough. Won't that break the golden rule? I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. I'm turning up the volume a little bit. Uh, don't you need to give him a trial first? So now you're an expert on Roman law, are you? Listen to me. We are cut off from the Empire down here, fending for ourselves on the brink of annihilation. If ever there was a time to dispense with legal procedure, it would be now. Think of it as an act of preemptive self-defense. Think of the lives you'll be saving. This doesn't feel right to me. Then perhaps you would prefer the feeling of being responsible for the deaths of everyone in this city. Hmm? Big brain solution to now the game is, is to abolish all laws. In the guise of philosophical introspection, now is the time for action. You have your order, carry it out. All right, I'll take care Thank of it. You. Please act quickly before it's too late. Okay, um, here's the thing. Abolish all laws or make everything legal? Is that the same thing? <laughs> There's only one rule. No rules. I'm going to be struggling with the invert y-axis. You guys are going to have to be patient with me. So I have to find uh, a, a weapon of some kind. Why is he still the marker? I guess I have to open up my journal. Main goals. Um, there's no way Decius is going to sell me the Siphium. Figure out how to get into Malleus's, um, Maliolus's villa. I'm pretty sure I know how to get behind it, but I might be wrong about that. Obtain a bow. Figure out how to get into the upper cistern. Get Dulay's key to the upper cistern by releasing him from prison. Right. Dooley has a key and I have to make someone, ma uh, the, the new magistrate in order to get it. There is some Skyrim in this game, which is set in uh, Roman Empire. This game was literally a mod to Skyrim, though. Something being legal just means there's no law saying it isn't. 
that is that true or is it that there's a law that it's legal typical does the fan <laughs> yo there's no way this Delcius is going to sell me the stuff him okay are they are they keep an eye out for centella would you hey Horatius. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out that you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the golden rule is gonna protect you. Got it? Huh. As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Okay, so there's a there's a secret around some theater. Isn't the great temple majestic? We talked, right? A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Uh okay. See you again soon. I There's no law saying it's legal to breathe through your nose, for example. Right, but what if, for instance, there was a uh, a substance which previously was illegal and then is then made legal? Or like, for instance, everyone has the right to uh, bear arms, which is not necessarily a law, but a constitutional law, which uh, you could try and explain to me the difference but I wouldn't understand necessarily all I'm saying is that you know there's there are laws that certain things are legal if there's maybe some controversy involved sponge stick a small stick with a sponge attached this must be what the Romans use instead of toilet paper it appears to be for communal use let's put this back immediately that is gross. Communal public toilets. These holes must be designed for use with a sponge on a stick. I'll wash my back with a rag on a stick. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I mean, Bethesda clearly based empire on Roman empire. It didn't... He didn't mean that, mean that it didn't help that you said right after looking at a diner. I mean, I, I was talking about the way I interact with objects in that it was very similar to uh, Skyrim. That was what I meant. And the way you interact with objects in this game very much reminds me of Skyrim. I have the movement in it as well. Fountain producing fresh water, but where could the water be coming from? Hey, bot. How are you doing? I'm done with work for today. I can finally participate. Nice. Such laws are usually made as exceptions to a law otherwise forbidding something, like no hurting others except in self-defense. No laws would mean nothing is illegal, though. Well, I mean, it's a, oh, we have, what did I just hear? Seek a bow. I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. That's, I guess, this is, like, this is really the point of the game, is what is a law, right? What What is breaking a law? If there is no law, then you can't break it, right? So if you abolished all laws, then the golden rule wouldn't exist anymore, right? Would, uh, would everyone be better off for doing so? I just found some money. Some money that is apparently okay for me to take. I like the garden benches. I will say screw it. This game probably won't run well on my poor specs. I'm going to stay <laughs> nice. A 
I do own Skyrim, but it's prob it probably won't run well also. I've been kind of thinking of doing a Skyrim run. I don't like Skyrim. Oh, yo, is it uh, Hephaestus? What's his name? Uh, Sisyphus. How did he die? If the alternative is everyone dying, I'd say everyone is better off with no laws. I guess the, um, the question really is, do you think that everyone would die? Water under the bridge. Find a creative way into the upper cistern. Need to get into the upper cistern somehow. Okay, so this is the upper cistern. I have some arrows. Skyrim is comfy. I really love the, scre the scenery, even if some say it's generic. I wouldn't say... I don't know. I I have, like... I, I feel very divided on Skyrim. I think that the gameplay is generic. Um... The scenery is fine. It's it's fine. I, I don't I don't dislike the environment in Skyrim. Apparently I can I can get up this. Invisible wall. The golden statues okay, so we don't actually really know what the deal is with the golden statues yet. Can you get the bow from the bow guy? You mean the assassin? The person, the only person who has a bow? Maybe. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I'm fine, thanks. I will say the only thing we know about the golden statues is that when someone commits a law, they come to life and then they start killing people. I'm feeling a bit on edge. That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Okay, here's a question. How do they know about the Golden Rule? I don't think we've heard that part yet. Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too. Golden statues are citizens of the city before Romans came. That's an interesting idea. So you, the golden rule was already broken and everyone turned into gold. I guess that makes sense because we saw in the very beginning the person that walked into the city who we were looking for, um, when they died, they turned into a golden statue. How did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. Sorry oh, to hear that's that. all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. You mean the gods? Oh yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. If you like. Do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until God 
uh, the gods decide our fate. I'll look into it. I hope it works out. What do you think about the golden rule? Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? I think people are fundam fundamentally good, sure. You don't think that's a little naive? Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've seen. Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. Perhaps you're right. If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. She's Catholic? I think she's Christian. Unless, of course, there's some kind of divine intervention. Oh, there's going to be some intervention, all right. Mm. I wish I shared your faith. So you're a Christian. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but oh, things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, thank you. Sure. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. What? Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Do a flip. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh, I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus, help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. We're just going to loop. Please, you need to talk to him. I'll, I'll loop and then I'll put a mattress at the bottom of the ravine. Do you... Do you really think that his suicide would break the golden rule? I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. This is why the Legion failed. Mr. House was free. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, I'll talk to Thank him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Go on then, go ahead, Bluff. Can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh, I was going to ask you what's wrong. No, I think you have the right to die if you're suffering badly enough. I don't know if I agree there, so uh, what's wrong? I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money, and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatus I need you to get the good ending. for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Scintilla, my love, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Opius, no! Hey, I have money, you dude. Oh my god. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... Oh lord. That poor lamb. Uh, his suicide didn't break the golden rule. What does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. Was that my fault? That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted. Moments after That's, you arrived. But I could maybe have paid the debt off, though. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. 
And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Alpheus. He's still falling to this day. Some say he's still falling. Well, I mean, there's a pool at the bottom here. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and. Okay, so this is how we get into the villa? And now. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. And now, and now, and now I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Um, under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? What's your story? I'm Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. What will you do if you win? I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long I'm enough imagine under the look on her face. tyranny. How will you do that? By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie? Uh, what makes you sure it's not real? The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the Golden Rule is real? Technically I can. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. The golden rule is broken each time. What would it take to prove to you it's real? Books or notes? Surely you're not one of those people who believes everything. Oh my you god, read. do your own research, As huh? If a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. Um reliving the same day over and over again. What? Oh, ho, ho, I see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with this much longer. Is this game about climate change? That's an interesting idea. I mean, yeah, I. It's uh, the 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 sins of the few are, uh, you know, where the what is it? The many are being punished for the sins of the few. Is that is that what we're going for? Even if I can't prove it, I'm if I'm right, then accepting it will avert disaster. If I'm wrong, then accepting it will make the city a better place. Isn't that a good thing? I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. Do you know a, a way out of here? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all Religious to Groundhog Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about the golden rule? You mean the children's fable exploited by... I'll be going now. I trust you can see yourself out. Through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. A Greek statue of a lion. Today I learned. I mean, I'll leave, but not before I do some snooping. I'm gonna do some snooping, you know? Wow, there's a there's a lot of Skyrim in this game. Look at all the Skyrim I'm looking at. Yo, check out this Skyrim here. Check that one out. <laughs> Look at this Skyrim. Oh my god. Look at this pile of Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Can you check on the body in the pool real quick? Yeah. It. I don't think it's the dude. I don't think it can be the dude because it's look how old and skeleton it is How is Bill Murray doing anyway? He's gonna be in a new movie with Ant-Man 
So he got infected by the Marvel curse like everyone else. No, 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 I'm reading this first. Suicide note presumably directed at Maliolus. Uh, Julia to her captors Maliolus and Claudia curse you to the depths. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead because death is preferable to another day in debt bondage to you. May vultures peck out your livers in Tartarus for all of eternity. Isn't that the guy that just died? wonder what would have happened if you jumped in front of the guy who was going to. It wouldn't really give me much interaction options. You can paint, paint that kitchen. Ant-Man and the Bill Murray. Ant-Man and the Bill Murray. Get out before I have the bitches press your skull in. Ulpius is his lost love. May God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could. But without you, my life is meaningless. I can only hope to we meet up again in Gan Eden. Gan Eden. Ulpius laments his lost love. You again. I'll be going. I try through. Wow! You're not lying, Bill Murray is now in the MCU, never saw that coming. He was always that one rebel actor who I thought wouldn't join. Eh. Oh. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Main goal failed. Do I get to keep this key? I didn't do anything. I gotta get back to the portal and I always get lost. So, um, if you're a little bit lost as to what is happening right now, apparently someone broke the golden rule. And, uh, so now I have to run to the portal. Um, my dude, the, the current magistrate, I forget what his name is, Sentius. Uh, he has to, like, stab himself, commit harikari. Yeah, there he is. Apparently, he turns into a skeleton when he does that? I didn't realize that. If you can keep stuff, then perhaps you can seal that antidote thing. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if I get to keep anything. Inventory. Apparently I get to keep the Daenerys. Yeah, there we go. There's the key to Malios' villa. So yeah, uh, I'll just stand, steal the poison. Why not? Uh, salve, friend. Wait, are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? If people turn into skeletons and it might have been Julia, you're right. Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Is that Mr. Clean? Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? No, he's but, it's listen, John Locke most folks from seem uh, Lost. A bit confused when they get here, but you you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Can you steal the boat. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. I'm doing- right, I know what friend. I'm doing. Suit yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. See you around. So apparently I can lie to people without, um... Without breaking the golden rule. Yeah, so... 
you're right. Uh, I, since I get to keep items, I may as well try and steal the bow. Or the, uh, the bow and the, uh, antidote. Hey, wait a minute. This guy hasn't explained to me. One of these statues is worth on the outside. He hasn't explained to me yet that this is his, so I can just take it. Apparently the Oh no. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ouch. Do it. Do it. What does it say? Graffiti. We'll actually see the guy kill himself, so we'll see if he turns into a statue. Okay, there it is. So people turn into skeletons when they die? It's like a SpongeBob bit. Okay, did we get to keep it? Yes, we did. All right, so uh, we are fine to break laws in fact we probably should break laws uh, my dude uh i've just come from the future uh you know thanks i guess but listen you lit i know what i'm oh. doing might just be him making the portal though it might be but okay here's an easy way to tell Let's. I'm gonna go back to the uh, to Malios's uh, villa, and I'm gonna. I have the key now, right? I can enter it. The guy won't have killed himself yet, so we can go inside and see if his body is at the bottom of the pool. Sound good? Oh, it's. I think it's right there. I'm getting a little lost. It's, So there's not even a hole here. So that was that was the guy. He crashed through this floor and uh, was at the bottom. So um, they don't turn into golden statues. Now I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Confirmed. Who is this? I'm not supposed to be in here. Can we talk? I know. Where do you keep your valuables? My bad. I'll be going now. Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. What's your story? I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? I have quite enough marriage travel already without having to explain to my husband why I'm receiving strange men in private. Do you know a way out of here? Preferably the way you came in. Wow. By which I mean, please leave. I think it's about to be broken if you don't hurry up and leave. Wow, I'm sensing a theme. Finally! This is outrageous. That's a lot of money. I could almost buy a bow with that. I'm wondering if uh, I've set myself up for a bad end by stealing. 
like, you know, I'm allowed to fail in stopping the golden rule from being broken, but I'm not allowed to break it myself, right? I've now broken it. Worth noting. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? I'll be going now. I trust you can see yourself out. It might have been a uh, body buried and hidden there, though. Are we really gonna... Like, I think, I think it's pretty safe to assume it was the guy. If you want, I'll wait here until he jumps. Just so we have visual, you know, confirmation. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. Duping money in ancient Rome. I don't know how long I'm going to be waiting here, though. And I don't even know if he'll do it if I don't walk up there and trigger it myself. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Uh, I wasn't, but now I am. I know about your creature. Don't worry about me. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. I wonder what happens if I die catch him it's an interesting idea i do not want to wait i bet the water will splash into your eyes anyway <laughs> so um there's apparently a monster down in the cistern but i don't know if i believe that oh god oh my god oh my god ah Creepy. <laughs> okay, there genuinely is something creepy down there. Would you live in a place like this? Sure, why not? It's kind of nice. Isn't the great temple majestic? I don't know, is it? Note to Octavia. All right, directions to a secret shrine. Enter the caves behind the theater, then turn right at the first fork. Caves behind, the I have to find the theater before I can, you know, look. Can I, can I, oh, that's, all right, steel, Never mind. Where is the theater? Is there a map? I have no idea that is so Skyrim. You run silly. I do run silly. Give antidote to that healer, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. But then I won't have it anymore, and then I'll have to steal it again. What are you doing in here? She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Kubolates Decius won't give it to me. Here, take it. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. I would not live there, but if I was stuck, I would make the most of it. Hopefully in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Uh, I heard she got sick earlier and went to find medicine. I'm a time traveler. Sure, why not? A what? I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent, because it sounded like you said time traveler. Kind of traveler you are. That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. Wasn't Lulia that jumped? She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. Oh, this is Lulia that she can uh, wrote the suicide note. Her. And who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel blood. So she must have poisoned herself. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. 
I keep hearing the statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Tell me more about Navia. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Go on. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off, and I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. You keep I mixing up the people writing suicide notes. Him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. I'll, I'll get right on it. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let me know how you go. So I have to find a cure for rheumatism. Did I get to keep the, uh... Yes, I get to keep this. Be nice. careful who you trust. Oh... It's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Can I ask what happened to you? As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. What? Please, no more questions. What do you mean? You just said... Did you, what? I want to know how someone poisoned you without breaking the golden rule. The golden rule? <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Is that who poisoned you? Please, just leave me alone. Nah, you gotta talk about it. Sorry. I don't talk about it. Can't help unless you tell me what happened. <sighs> Persistent as Nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. They don't sign their notes. It's such a toxic thing to do. Maybe, uh, the, the, ooh, 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 I got it. Um, Maliolus and Claudius forced her to write, write a suicide note. Suicide doesn't technically break the golden rule. They had her write it so that they could have her give herself the poison. So it's technically not murder because she is committing suicide. Maybe? Also, she didn't die, so maybe, maybe not, but I have all the time in the world. All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Um... Thinking you'd be out of here before you ever had to pay back the loan? I'm not proud of it, but... Yes, I was surprised he agreed to it, to be honest. But I was so happy to have the money I didn't question it. I had to sign an agreement. 
saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. Jesus. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. What's hemlock? It's a deadly poison made from a plant. Drink this, she said, and you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she... She laughed. She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the <laughs> whole thing from the beginning. She would, surely that would have broken the golden rule. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa. Confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing, my hemlock. So you poisoned yourself. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. I wish this game wasn't so compelling because people in my chat keep buying it. And then... They... <laughs> and then... They... <laughs> oh, I don't want to get spoiled. What is it? I don't want to get spoiled. I better go play it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. I think, uh, I think I actually, uh, am learning something here about, about what I should be streaming. Uh, li li listen, this isn't a comment. But legitimately, I do think it's more entertaining to watch someone play something they hate. Because, <laughs> I mean, what, what are we going to do? Enjoy how much fun I'm having? <laughs> that's, that's, that's absurd. Um, I'm being, I'm being like very, ped not pedantic, uh, what's the term? Um, flippant about it, but I think it is funny. So what will happen to you now? When I've recovered... I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa. And I'll be right back where I started. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. I might actually go play this. Maybe make a day where you play bad games, ones you don't want to, like Terrible Tuesdays or something. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Facetious, thank you, uh, VidCactus, that was it. Bubsy 3D. Sonic Frontiers. Uh, uh, <laughs> plus, I do not have the money to get it myself. I appreciate that. I knew, I knew I was going to like this game. I'm sorry, can I do anything to help? I doubt it. 
It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me, for trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. How much would it cost to buy your freedom? A lot. How much? But it doesn't matter. Just tell me. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelia set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. Wait, is that the guy that he jumped? He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself yeah. from the bluff into Maliolus' That's the guy. by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Perhaps I can help him too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are or why you seem so determined to help me, but thank you. I'll get right on it. All right, let's try again to save the dude. May Apollo keep you safe. He's up there. I see him. We've gotten confirmation in three different ways, by the way, that this dude does in fact jump into the villa. And in fact, that is his body at the bottom of the pool, if you can call it a pool. Salve, friend. No, Welcome no. Uh, I actually really need to talk to Ulpius. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Making a Sonic oh. Frontiers joke to no. someone was a rogue. No, 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 no. Yes, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, no class. There. Game is, man, if I want to say good, balance, but it's all right. Fall. Solid 7 out of That's 10. I've idea. heard it's good. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think... Here's, here's my spicy Sonic the take. rest of my life... I Working think Frontiers was pretty, or not Frontiers, like um, Forces was pretty good. I know, I know things are hard for you right It's actually fun. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. <laughs> please, please just think this through. Y'all in chat are this. determined that this guy didn't actually jump into things. the villa. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Okay, I'm gonna skip please this. Help him. Good luck with that. I'm out of here. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Uh, is this what Scintilla would want? You know about that how is that possible i mean i've never mentioned it to anyone you'd never believe me if i told you well if you say so you don't understand i don't want to hurt anyone why don't you just just I tell just him that all to be over the girl he made a suicide pact with is alive now and if he jumps he would be killing her it's too late for that yulia and i made a pact and she's already swallowed hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. I already saved Lulia's life, and I'd like to help you too. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. 2,000 denarii. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Uh... But I could probably raise the money if you give me some time. No. No. Time's up. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! Wait, I have to see your body hit the, the thing or else I, chat will never believe it. I can't believe he went... I'll have to... No, no, no. There's still time. Ugh. Yeah, so uh, I, there, I believe it was around here, wasn't it? Great temple door. That's locked, huh? How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? Uh, where did I find there was a chest with a thousand denarii in it? Where was that? Wow, wow, wow. Spend a day going around stealing. Yeah.
Um, Sonic Fandom swears it's the worst thing ever. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. Um, Forces was not exactly like amazing, but it was good. Like it was fun. I actually really enjoyed it. It does have a really stupid story, but so do all of the Sonic games. Like, let's be honest. I need to find it to decipher the meaning of the obelisk. Interesting. Don't I have a tablet? The villa wife? In the villa. In the villa. In the villa. Okay, in the villa. Alright, in the villa. Gotcha. In the villa. Uh, in the villa. Thank you. This freaking guy here is just like, what? Was that a sound behind me? What was that sound behind me? No? Uh, I'll just go ahead and continue practicing my speech as if nothing happened. Sonic Adventure 2, Eggman blows up the moon with a laser shaped like a face. Yeah, I mean, like, we're not talking, like, genius storyline here, right? Leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. It's fine. It's passable. It's some, you know, kid stuff. And I, I'd say that is a good thing. There, there. There we go. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Um... Oh, he turned into a statue. Oh, maybe when they get hit by the golden statues, they turn into golden statues. Ouch. That hurt. A human can make a hole like that. <laughs> A good Sonic game is like a good Devil May Cry game, just high octane and crazy story filled with style. Yeah, I agree. I, I'll tell you this, I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed Sonic Generations. I thought Sonic Generations is really... I think it's overrated. It's, why am I still hurt? I'm like taking damage right now. What is happening? Salve, friend. Mind telling me? Need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Lily is dying, but Lu Lucretia can't help her without the selfium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. Now go as fast as you I'll can. Go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Am I about to die? No. Okay, apparently I'm okay. Ave. Ave. Uh, so I gotta go up there. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Uh, the pool, just no way. I doubt that stonemason can be that bad. I don't know. I... Galley is your shortcut mechanic. You can have him do things for you. You already done nice devs. That is actually really cool. friend i'm up to well yo get i'm fine thanks ah and we've all been are you no 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 i'll be going now all right i can't believe this is how it ends okay here we go here we go oh no no maybe the jumper is no, actually no, no, a golden no. statue wearing a skin suit yes what are you doing everyone's already Let's made of gold there if you lose your balance you'll fall that's the idea what why do you i'm, I'm sorry please help 
Uh, good luck with that. I keep almost pressing that. I'll talk to him. Thank you. What do you mean this game was only made by three people? That's, that doesn't matter. I didn't hit a crash down. He's alive then. It's true. Uh, is this what Scintilla would want? You... You'd never believe me. Well, you don't... Maybe I can help solve if your I... problem. Lucretia was able to get some selfium in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Oh, really? That was... Uh, I actually, actually I do. Really? Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. Talk to a Christian chick to trigger some dude commit suicide. Could be a pre-created hole and this place is oldish. I can't believe how de like <laughs> divisive this one little plot event is. So I guess you'd want me to work for you. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us. A couple of complete strangers. Of course. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. Wow. Turns out money can buy happiness. Paying for the man and leaving the lady salve <laughs> slave with it. With the debt. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong in a way. I, I, uh, like, and here's the thing, right? This is just this loop I've seen. I've helped him. What about the next loop? Do I have to go and, st am I gonna have to steal 2000 like every time I wanna do this? Maybe when I figure out how to fix everything, then I, and I, I'll have to like gather everything up and do things in a very specific order. It is for the both of them. It's it is for um, well, here's the thing. It's it's for uh, the guy and the uh, Lulia who was poisoned. But the, the, the girl, the Christian here, I'm pretty sure she is also a debtor. So um, she just kind of gets hosed. Oh, hey, there's something interesting here. You never have to set foot in that villa again. What do I do here? I can't, like, walk across that. Do a jump. Let's see if the pool breaks. My god. This is... This is a lot. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it some other time. I'm not going to do it in the same loop that I saved the guy because that would feel really pointless. Now, does anyone know where the theater is? Oh, look at that free money. Pays off, dude, debt just to jump instead. Why does this pool convo feel like germ a bit? <laughs> You're not wrong. Won't break because it's actually a hatch. Opius prepared. That's right. He had it planned the whole time. He didn't actually commit suicide, and that's why it didn't break the golden rule. And the girl was still dying of poison, so she didn't commit suicide either. So... He's fine. Everyone's fine. No rules have been broken. 
Uh, I'm trying to find where the theater is, and I really don't know. I wait. I, this is Upper Cestus, right? Yeah. So I can't go up there uh, in there yet. Oh, oh, there's the uh, Christian. What's she doing? What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? Oh. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> the way she said that's like, oh, you don't have uh, a thousand denarii for me, huh? Cool. I guess there's nothing in that bag for me, right? No, no way home. No? Ruby slippers? No? Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Well, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, continue working on this garden here. All right. Yeah. Yo, it's the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> it's the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You know the one. Oh, man. Yo, Poggers, it's a big old chasm. <laughs> You'll never believe what I found in this empty chasm. Hint. It was a skeleton body at the bottom of a villa. <laughs> Be careful who you trust. What, you, what a weird thing to say. What do you mean? You're the person I saved. What the? What are you talking about? Sorry. I, was there something you wanted? Lucretia. Okay, what's your story? You mean my life story? Oh. Well, that should be your thumbnail for their highlight. I grew up a big family in Rome. Yeah. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. <laughs> it was a good life for a while, until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river, and then... The next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. Some people mentioned a coin. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. I consider myself fortunate. At least I'm still alive. Do you know a way out of here? If that's your idea of a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, right, Go I forgot. away. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. I know what kind of person. Hey, that's, I was it didn't even I didn't even occur to me. All right, all right. Goodbye. Nothing good will come of it. Something is in there. <clears throat> I know where the arrows are, but where? How do you know? I guess this is the assassin trying to break through. Seek a bow. Okay. But yeah, uh, the golden statues do look at you. When you look away, that they look at you. Telling her to just... <laughs> I didn't... I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it like that. I was genuinely asking... I was honestly just going through the bullet points, but I didn't realize that asking that was going to be a problem. 
Listen, that's kind of funny. I'm probably not going to highlight uh, my playthrough of Forgotten City for a couple of reasons. A, it's mostly dialogue, and uh, B, oh, fermented fish sauce uses a condiment. Uh, the other reason is that I don't want to really spoil this game for anyone. If they don't, if, if you're not in stream watching it, then I assume you don't necessarily want to watch it. There's a chance that someone might like come across my YouTube and like spoil the game for themselves. Who's this? Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. What's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Solution and Tigris. Babylon province. But I've been roaming a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Why are you still wearing your legionary army? Or armor, sorry. Because we're all in grave danger. Why are you wearing your Is Skyrim armor? Obvious? Why, oh, what's what's the deal? You, where you come from? The north? Why don't you have a weapon? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. Not, not much of a talker, are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Are you suffering from rheumatism? Nobody is supposed to know about that. Did Lucretia tell you? Figured it out on my own. Gah. Look, I haven't been at my best lately. All my joints ache constantly, and and the pain. It has a way of messing with your head. I get stirred up by things that shouldn't bother me, and and then there's the statues and my. Doubts about my faith. And I just... I just want to scream. You want to help? No laws against that. Do what Lucretia hasn't been able to do. And find me something to make the pain go away. Until then, get out of my face. You won't believe who this guy is cosplaying as. In Rome and Skyrim. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. Yo, know, it actually is John Locke from the Lost it series. Me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. We have to go back. With the boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus. To the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? Hot topic. Uh, you'd never believe me. And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better. <laughs> gonna have we bottle of half finished time finished him like well, that would technically be murder. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? I, uh, I would need him to sign a waiver in order for it to not break the golden rule. My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forest. Why set up a tailor shop here? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Yeah, more or less. I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? I guess uh, I, I, I had thought you were implying, Cactus, that you're giving it to them as a cure for rheumatism and not as hemlock. <laughs> Uh, the more our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Um, sure. Oh, and there is another reason too. If we all end up as golden statues for future generations to marvel at, I don't know about you, but I would like to look my best. 
Or would you end up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Why don't you tell me what you remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares. And drowning in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through <laughs> some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. So you floated down the Tiber. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by works. a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Some people mentioned a stranger. Anything you like. Do you know a way out of here? Shh. Not so loud. What are you playing at? Did I say the wrong thing? Have you not been told about the last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Why don't you tell me? Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Uh, I can do that. I admire your enthusiasm, my friend, but please allow me to explain why this is enough. <laughs> I like this guy. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice shake the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tale ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Okay. What do you think about the golden rule? Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. What do you say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth, so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew, the grain turned to empty husks, and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands, until at last the other gods were forced to act, lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. What can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. That's an interesting take. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if <laughs> I love the references of for Skyrim in the 80s. That will never be enough. Don't you mean Skyrim Certainly, too? No matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. Ah, uh, I know I've seen it happen. Ah, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. 
For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? Jesus. <laughs> You're you're using actual corpses as like uh, your your fashion models. Who are you gonna vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Malonus. Really? I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Anything I can do to change that? Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Damn. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Like having a pleasant conversation with someone and then finding out who they vote for. Uh, he really is using the statues as... Well, at least they look very fashionable. Greetings and salutations. Yeah, give me your money. This part of my shop is off limits, even for you, my sartorial friend. I mean, it's not. I have a uh, magister... What is this? Sinner. Oh, yeah. Ah, a new face. Salve. And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. What's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop all Yo, it is Minecraft, from collapsing Steve. on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. Correct. Tell me about the city's history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago, which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. What does that mean? I'm not sure. It could mean that the Romans who first started building here were just copying Greek architecture uh, which they do all the time. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Tell me about the city's architecture. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts. Those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas. And the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. They bring water into the city. Could we use them to escape? Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. Tell me about the temple up on the bluff. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in We're the city. We're taking modern plumbing for granted. someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And 
Could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out the way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Okay. Of course. Do you know a way out of here? You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Some people say it's divine, the work of a god, but I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me. Like it's distinctly human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. Give me one second, guys. But this so-called god doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Okay, sorry. I think so, yes. I don't know what he said, but yeah, sure. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. How do you remove a god from power? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you will give it some thought. I know it's the graffiti. Why does someone think you're a sinner? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. You like men? Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. Y yes, I like men. And when you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magus, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... what was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to yeah, say, Cactus. since also, I'm now living underground, uh, halfway across the known world, time travelers. name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. Sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Do you know who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Whoever wrote Virgil's lines was deaf was gay. One of those cultists. Strange bunch. They insist there's only one god, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Let me look into it for you. What? Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who lives Hacking or works Christians. in the forum must have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. 
I, I bet uh, this this part probably pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> See what I can do. Who are you gonna vote for? Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. Anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Nice to talk to you. My favorite word to hear in a video game, all the best gamers have them. Cultists? Yo, that's uh, quite the collection of uh, hammers. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. This is a shovel, huh? It smells like ash. Seems like this, this guy likes to repair private. things. Please leave. Accusi accusatory note. They may not see you yet, uh, but I want you to know I see you. There were, were the good times where when France did not exist. Jesus, what do we got against France? What's wrong, what's wrong with France? Ain't nothing wrong with France. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. I'm sad. Am I going to die? Oh, I don't want to die. Oh, here's the theater. I finally found it. Nice. So I think we were going to the caves behind the theater and then turning right. This is to find some kind of secret place. Don't I have a flashlight? Yeah, there we go. Bottle of wine. Pajama Sam, 72 pounds. My ex was French. There is nothing wrong with France. Bro, Smith and Paper 100's blacksmithing skill. Yo, is that guy, is that guy Skyriming right now? This place is kind of spooky. Whenever they give you a flashlight in the game, it increases the spookiness by like at least 10 to 20%. I don't know what that's supposed to say or mean. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. We did, uh, we did see uh, a bloodless shadow, did we not? In the cistern? What do you mean you have a flashlight? Immersion broken. <laughs> well, I come from the future, you see. Uh, I entered the, uh, the place of judgment when uh you know in the in the far future you know not the far future our present it seems to me eventually i'm going to be able to use these vines to climb this might be climbable if only they could support my weight okay so uh this game is officially a metroidvania I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come back after I learn the get the the morph spell or skill Arrows in pot thing was there an arrow in pot thing Hold on I mean I, I have plenty of arrows I have 20 fletched arrows If there's a bow down here, that'd be good you're right, there is uh, some arrows in there, but I don't think I can get to it. Oh, I can. Nice. That's nice. But um, I need a bow. Wow, game calling you fat like that. I know, I thought this game was inclusive. Oh, I didn't take the bottle of wine. OK, 
Can't believe Big is gaslighting me into loving France. <laughs> well, I mean, what's wrong with France? Ain't nothing wrong with France. Can I get it? Oh, what's this? May the gods be kinder to you than they were to us, stranger. A dice tower? What? Really? How long have these things existed? Metal dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly, cheating must be a problem among Romans. Uh, Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. Why steal? Do people live in this house? Well, isn't that an impressive uh, oh, it's, trinket? Uh, it's this person. She, uh, she tricked that girl into drinking poison. I said there is everything wrong with it. You read it as nothing wrong. <laughs> You've read my comment entirely wrong. What are you saying? My ex was French. There is nothing wrong with France. Yeah. I said there is nothing wrong with it. And you read it as everything wrong. Is that new D and D movie reference? Yo. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Back away There's from a me. There's light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Yeah. Um... I know you're a horrible person. Oh, stop it. No, please go on. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Wow. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? What's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Wow. Do you know a way out of here? You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. I was talking about an escape from the city. <sighs> I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of fact, I do not know funny, a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about and i don't just give it out steal like something meet the timeline and, and try again so, how badly do you want it hasbro making dnd &D toys that are big d20 and say, transform into dnd &D monsters like some dnd <laughs> i think i have seen those actually if you have a way out why haven't you used it yourself simple it's a one-way trip and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? What D&D &D group they were talking about? Tell me more about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. Uh, not interested. I know it's a scam. Ha! <laughs> it's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the buyer beware right outside my tavern. What do you think about the golden rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten dinari. 
Here's ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Here's another ten denarii. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's gonna throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you like. All right. Yeah, she's not a good person. You stay away from my money. You know, something I like about this game is that you can just like go ahead and look at everyone's stuff. They'll get mad, but like they can't do anything about it. Key to Aurelia's chest. We could steal it. You know what? Why don't we steal it? And then we're gonna the steal the poison. The shall suffer for the sins of the one. Today I'm celebrating. I made the easiest thousand denarii I've ever made by selling away. Oh wait a minute. There's, this isn't a pause screen. Oh god. Hey buddy. She goofs by letting you know she has money. <laughs> So what happens now? What happens to the dude that we saved? Are they still dead? Are they still saved? Yo, dude, check out my flashlight. Right. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh... Alright. Oh, is that? Can't have, but you slip. All right. Can you tell Galley to do it? Apparently not. I guess not. Have we been up there? Don't know if I have been up there. I'll have to find out if, uh, if she's still dying. This is his- oh my god. A love poem to an unspecified woman. My life has been torturous as the seven labors of Hercules, orphaned, defeated, and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again, gladly. Because each lost wound and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame, but to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow is enough. Who do you think that's for? So this is Galerius. This is... What is this? Someone has been hard at work on the prototype zipline. Yeah. So this is the prototype. I love the little t touches of uh, world building in this game. It's really cool. Don't steal from the sweet boy. Oh wait, that will prove you are a time traveler, probs. So here's the, uh, this is the plaque. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. Yeah, we gotta talk to They follow their trades. Imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the Forum, some the House of the Ruler of the Depths. 
Others follow their trades. You gotta go, but I was trying to make it back near the end of stream. Okay, take lives. it easy, Mimesis. They never do. You know a way out of here? There is only a downward path. Gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. See ya. Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. What do you think about the Golden the Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Right. Can you tell me about the pattern you saw? You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. The newly arrived are ignorant. Okay. Gallius for Magistrate. Countered by, I would rather drink Aurelia's special brew. So, if we can somehow make a Galerius Magistrate, that would solve some problems. Galerius seems like a good lad. The only way out is whoever wrote this was interrupted perhaps tragically. <laughs> Ixian turns. These are quite some houses we have here, isn't it? Rudimentary doll. It looks like it has been well loved. I feel like I've read that exact line somewhere else. Like, in a different game. The 49 melodies fetch a game. With Galerius loves Equitia, countered by Fornicate with her, lost. and we all die. Don't I have to... Isn't Equitia the person I have to talk to? Key to the chest in the Shrine of Apollo. Okay. Cool. What is that doing here? Open the chest in the clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Okay. No, I don't want to... I don't want to take one denarii. That would be... dumb. Yo, that's a nice pot you got there. Nice. Nope. Fermented fish sauce, which is apparently very tasty, according to, uh... I'm a 10. Sorry, uh, disgusting. They said it was disgusting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Isn't that the Thunder Time horse who runs straight, making the future happen? If he turns, that means he goes back in time. What are you talking about, though? No, from Kabash. Uh, a dream diary from Kabash in which he describes his reoccurring dreams about a stranger nam named Kerti. Who is Kerti? All right, let's go. Let's go this way. This is a semi-fast way to get back to the um, theater, but I don't think I fully explored this zone. Could I search this water down here for a weapon? I feel like there's something there. There's a chest. This game's got a great sense of like interest, intrigue. Okay, so there's a chest with some money at the bottom. That's kind of nice. 
I wonder if when you steal something, does it like disappear forever? Like if I search this chest on a future loop, would it, uh, would that money be there? Can I not take this apple? I guess not. Crazy lady mentioned Ixian. Seems directed at, seemed directed at you. Was what that note you stole from Shady Lady Barkeep? What was that note you stole from the Shady Lady Barkeep? Um, unfortunately, I, it doesn't take the notes. Oh, there's some butterflies there. That means I can get some Metroid ability there in the future. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just talking about how she got lucky and made a thousand denarii by tricking someone into drinking poison. Like, it seemed to be just talking about that. Nothing of, like, real, uh, posterity value. Probably meh. Meh heh heh, I'm evil, yeah. Nice little farm we've got here. Har. Talk to the goose. A bunch of goose eggs laid by the city's goose. Take the item. What's what's the deal with the uh, booterflies? I'm sure it'll all become clear later. Oh, hello. Salve. Oh, it's you. Ah, it's you again. No. Oh, we haven't really talked to you. Well, it's a long one, and <laughs> Skyrim. I'm sad, <laughs> Cabbages, yo, what's well, a nice it. Skyrim reference? I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. <laughs> One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. Oh, it's Robocop, yeah. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, Romanized my name and everything, tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place, and I started my life over again. That's what I thought, too, for a while. 
But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me here. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. Mm. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Sure. <laughs> sure, lie. <laughs> Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, there's a lot to go through here for, uh... Stick it to the man, Galerius. Yeah, I'm starting to not like this, uh... Uh, what's his name? God damn it. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of Everyone's here, name is confusing is me. more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Centilla, Centilla. daughter, went missing or a Centius, few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here's got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? What do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Ever thought about running? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So, I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Uh, I don't think Malios is, is going to help Dooley. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. I guess we'll have to wait and see whether Malios frees him or not. Mm, I suppose you're right. I bounced the... Hold on. <clears throat> Why is Dooley in a cell? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. That's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. But Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. Gladly. All right. I have to ask him myself. Damn, he's such a mouth breather. <laughs> Yo! Poggers! <laughs> Don't you just love springtime? Yo, you'll never believe what, what is hiding behind that waterfall. <laughs> oh man, I'm ruining this game. What happens if I jump down there? Oh. Oh. The newly arrived are okay, ignorant okay. of the road before them. <sighs> all, right, all right. Is that Germa? Well, Bimple Dunn blundered again, didn't he? All right, we, we didn't miss much. Cold in German confirmed. Oh, he, ah. I want to know how to get in there. Look at that chat. I'm gold. That's nuts. Chat, check that out. Okay, let's just do this real quick. 
I just need to mark all ah, the stuff in my no. journal. What? I have time. I... Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm glad things worked out. That's... Sure. Uh, do you know <laughs> way out of here? Do you think you... What do you think about the... What do you think about the election? Uh, ever thought about... I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, whether Malleolus will free him. Why is Dooley in a cell? Talk about something else. Last one. You're right. Never mind. Okay. All right. I would never break the golden rule. What are you even talking about? Five minutes later. Don't hurt anyone, don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. I didn't check out the theater itself. Anything cool here? <gasps> More money! Yay! I love money. What does that say? What does this say? Old scroll. An old scroll in which the author makes the case against the existence of the golden rule. Uh, as per custom, I shall begin my by paying my respects to the god responsible for the city for our continued prosperity, poster, no, prosperity and tranquil seclusion. He deserves our admiration. Uh, but here I must depart from custom for his attempt at opposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching and deserving of our contempt. Who amongst us uh, has not awoken at night in a cold sweat fearing some sort of accidental transgression against the golden rule? Uh, all of us must accept that we are all capable of error. Whether... Um... on whether from a momentary lapse in judgment or a con uh, conscious decision based on faulty reasoning. Yet the great threat, the sort of Dem Democles that we live under is, uh, I believe merely a deception and I shall prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing the counter arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscriptions stating the many shall f suffer for the sins of the one is evident evidence that the golden rule is very real. But that is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writer knew any more than we did. That this message was inscribed it does not make it true any more than it if I were to inscribe Dorotas the Younger is a god. Second, it may be argued that the statues in this place are evidence that this, the golden statue or the golden rule is real. You need not remind me of that. It was I who discovered them all around the, the city. It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart and place them in the niches in which they sit today. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the conclusion that they were once real people. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. When we read the story of Venus uh, bringing Pygmalion's sculpture uh, Galatea to life, we do not believe it is true. Why should we take a different view here? Ultimately, these arguments are just that. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove that the golden rule is a falsehood, and that is through action. I apologize in advance for this, but one day you will see this moment as a turning point in our city's history. Let us see once and for all if the golden tr uh, rule is real, as I strike one of you with my fist. Uh, how, did, how did that go? Sword of Demac... Demacles, Binding of Isaac reference? Yo! Poggers. Ulpius loves Scintilla, corrected to Ulpius killed Scintilla. I like this meme. We're do this is a good meme where we're, we're, we've got here. Looks at 2k hours on Steam, trust me, I know. Literally every item in that game is a reference to something else. 
I, uh, I always hate that at some point in a game I start reading instead of appreciating the voice actor. It always happens. I let them speak for the first 25% of a game and then I'm like, ain't got time for this. So I have a key for a chest in this place now. Apparently, where is it? Didn't I get a key for uh, a chest? In the shrine of Apollo? Oh, there it is. Do I not have the key anymore? Because I died. Oh my god. Now I have to go get the key again. Oh, that's a bummer. I think I do remember where the key is, but it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Oh no! Help! You have to do something! You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden... Who's threatening Virgil? Are you serious? This is an emergency. Are you going to help or not? I'll see what I can do. Thank... I have to hide. No, do not go in there. What? Just trust me. Uh, all right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. If I go in there, will I die? Uh, I don't want to do this yet because this, the dude is about to walk in and kill everyone. Bruh. That I made you think it was not ironic. I mean, so many people will think uh, Mas Masamune is from a Naruto instead of the actual tale. Naruto? You mean the uh, incest baby from Rick and Morty? I know, I know what you're talking about. What have you discovered? I discovered that I died. Um, and I had to load. And now I have to go and find a key again, which is in the slum-ish area. Excuse me, what? Naruto. You know Naruto. The incest baby from uh, Rick and Morty. That's the only Naruto that exists, right? The 49 melodies fetch a game with incessant labor. There it is. Key to the shrine and the uh, chest in the shrine of Apollo. There we go. Is there anything else in here that I took? No. Weren't you here, uh, I'm a ten when that became a ongoing meme? You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Okay, now I go back. Uh, I want to go back to the uh, Apollo shrine. The sound, this music is almost sounding like the uh, Stargate theme. <laughs> Yo, is that a Stargate reference? The new episode of Rick and Morty was hella tight, though. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the new episodes. Um. Okay, I gotta go and, uh... Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's worth a fortune. Yeah, whatever, dude. He's trying to Apollo. There you go. Nevia's treatment notes. Flatulence, rhubarb, ulcers, gentian, gentian, rheumatism, willow bark, 
There you go. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this chin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this here. What? You leave. Hope that. A what? I didn't mean to. In sure. What do you want to? I don't want to talk about Lilia. Yeah. I want to talk about. I figured out how to treat you rheumatism. Made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? I didn't. I found it another way. Oh, I see. Well, what's the treatment? Willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Uh, they did dirty to my favorite show, not gonna lie. I hate Adult Swim, which, which shows what happened. I was mad about Squid Billies at first, but then understood that Henson, he, he, he messed up. <laughs> That's the, the way they had to go to finish the series. All right. Thank you. That's a shame. Rhubarb? Okay, bud. Mm. There you go. About your rheumatism. What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism is cursed statues all you got a beep now yeah crisis of faith it was too much started messing with my head this is exactly what i needed to set it straight again i owe you one um do you know way out of here no i don't I did hear a rumor that Aurelia, the tavern keeper, has been offering to sell a way out. But I barely have two sistersi to rub together. What do you think about the golden rule? Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Yeah, I know how that feels. I've lived through a pandemic. <laughs> oh, when did this game come out? No, for real. When did this game come out? Oh, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you what do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Imagine feel, telling a Roman legionnaire that. Or something. I don't like it. Came out July 2021. Damn. I think you're right. That doesn't help me. Who are you gonna vote for? Meliolus. I'm not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Only now gaining steam. Yeah, weird. Uh, I mean, I heard like good things about it when it came out. Anything I can do to change that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You said you owed me one, remember? Uh, who do you want me to vote for? I don't want him to vote for any either of these. Fine. I want Keep you to help around. me take the bow from this assassin that's about to break in. Zero ads. 
Well, I mean, it's it's made by like what three people, right? I think it's it's a very small team of people. So like, you know, I don't know if they had a lot of money to spare for ads. I heard I heard about it when it came out, but you know, I I try and keep tabs on like everything. I've got a lot of open tabs. Yo, secret. Yo, is this a, is this a reference to Skyrim? There's only secrets in Skyrim, right? And access to the UE uh, access asset market. I'm kind of worried I'm going to find a, uh, a skelly bro down here. That was scary. Spooky even. Greek sculpture of a young boy's head. A, a leer. Is it a leer or a liar? Probably a leer, huh? I'm saving. Even bad games sell well with enough money for marketing. Conversely, even good games can stay obscure without marketing. It's amazing that it's done by three people and Blizzard still somehow finds it acceptable to release Overwatch 2 and... Oh god, I'm not talking about Overwatch 2. Um... Has anyone uh, looked at that new game that came out called Evil West? Looks like it could be interesting. Oh, did not expect to find someone down here, honestly. Archaeologist. I wonder if we could find a bow down here. Come and join me by the fire. Yo, that's creepy as all hell. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? I got burned so badly by Overwatch 2 after years of enjoying Overwatch 1. Legit, never reinstalling Battle.net. I'm Bimple. Bimpless. Hickus. It's made by the Shadow Warrior 3 devs. You can take a torch, I think? I tried. I actually genuinely tried to take a torch. Besides, I already have a torch. It's electric. It's a sincere pleasure to meet you. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? I found this place by accident. Then perhaps the fates brought you here to learn the secrets of this place. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person is you. Okay. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Not yet. Hmm. You have much to learn. It's best if you figure it out on your own. Come back once you've made progress. I'd really like you to tell me. Then you should speak with your contemporaries in the city above. Ask them about their stories and see if you detect a pattern of some sort. It is best if you come to this realization for yourself. You would never believe me if I told you. The god responsible is Elon Musk. Big plaque which translates to the many shall suffer. Yeah, okay. Shadow Warrior 3 is a masterpiece. Makes me want to instant insta buy it. Flying hot wild hog only makes banker. I Ah, you've returned. No, I haven't. Uh, I will say, uh, Faust, I I have actually only seen kind of negative press about Shadow Warrior 3. I don't know if it's bad. I would like to play it. 
I would be interested in playing it, but I, I don't know. I am honestly very surprised to hear someone speak very highly of it. Bathtub. Ah, you've returned. No, I have. I have not returned. Sorry, dude. I haven't spoken to anyone in years, so riddle me this or heck off. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I like the uh, phrase "heck off." Oh, what a weird way to bring me back to the start. Okay, well, this is kind of a waste of time. Y'all almost had me there, game. I was, like, really interested in what was going to be down here, and then it was nothing. They treat you like you already know the lore of 1 and 2. It's a quick arcade shooter that's just as good as Doom or Eternal. Baller OST. Only issue is that the main character is sort of a Deadpool, but not. Boring, bloated, and dated. Are you talking about Shadow Warrior 3 or Evil West? I've been hearing uh, good things about Evil West. But it, that it is not the game that it is really being advertised as. Really want to go in there, even though I might die. <laughs> Okay, do you think that maybe if I, because I, um, cured Mr. Mr. Man of his rheumatism, that, uh, he might actually help me, uh, with the assassin? Because I don't know where to find a bow. Actually, you know, this guy over here is supposed to know where to find a bow. Whatever's in that great temple up there on Salve, stranger, and welcome to our... Any idea who's threatening Virgil? I don't, I'm afraid, but... I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she saw something. Okay, ask the merchants in the forum for clues about Virgil's secret admirer. Uh. Very well. Another. So this is gonna. If I walk in here, this is probably gonna end the current loop, right? Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Uh, you're gonna try to kill me anyway. He's in the villa right at the end of this road. He goes by Maliolus now. Is that true? Oh, I see. I'm, I'm sending him to die. Saw him worshiping in a small round shrine just inside the city. Second building on your left. Oh yeah, that's great. That's a great idea. Send him to die. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. This this can't possibly count as uh, killing him, right? Oh man, I'm going to enjoy watching this. Galley has a shot. Well, I want him to die though because I want to I want his bow So I'm gonna send him into this uh That little thing there because it's gonna cave in and he's gonna die if you don't know on the last session Um the woman a woman walks in this thing and then dies because it caves in So I stopped her from walking in and now he's gonna die Filthy lying degenerate Nice. Give me that bow. Yes. Emperor Nero has ordered the execution of cultists named Quinti Quintius with different colored eyes. Did I know that? Did I know he had uh, different colored eye? He had one De Niro to his name, huh? Bow. 
I, get, I have a bow now. This game is now a video game. Yo, is this a reference to Skyrim? Where did he come from? Where, where does this go? Calmly lies down. Listen. This is a really nice place. Oh, I see. This is where I fell in. So he came here the same way everyone else came in here. Is there anything down there? Anything cool? Treasure? I like the water in this game. It's, I mean, it's not like groundbreaking. I remember. Okay, so um, it's a little bit revealing, but I my uh, my dad worked in press, uh, and as I was growing up. It was, um, it's kind of a, a lot of like, oh, I'm cut. We're, we're, we're getting this new printer in or something to, to cause I'm going to cover this and that, and, or like getting this game or this console. And then, you know, it disappear like a week later. Cause not everyone would let you keep it. And you'd go to a lot of press shows and I have this very vivid memory. He's telling me this story of like every single press show he went to where it was showing off a new game, especially a game that was like uh, featuring a new piece of tech or hardware or console. They'd have a moment in every single press where the guy would stop the stop, like, you know, showing it off and just like, just look at that water. Just look, look at that water. right <laughs> It just like, like stop the whole thing and point out the water. Like, look at, look at the refraction on that water. And we're talking like, PS1 games, you know, every single time. Dreamcast, uh, you know, PS2 eventually. And it was always the same. It's just like, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And I mean, we know now. No. No, it doesn't look nice. No, that looks god awful, actually. <laughs> Water is, funnily enough, one of the easiest things to make look good. I've seen bad water but yeah I mean it's it's I think it's one of the easiest things to like tech drive if that makes sense oh that's locked huh didn't realize that what is that why is there such a huge gap underneath the door what was the main selling that was the main selling point for Super Mario Sunshine yeah I mean Super Mario Sunshine has some pretty actually cool looking water no it's not rose tinted glasses i i played it recently it actually looks really nice still like still it's kind of held up also water in a game is that a skyrim reference a joke is not going to get old i promise you okay hey, so you're not thinking about going into the cistern are you uh yes nobody's told you about hannibal uh, so, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny X. One day, said Hannibal... Okay, listen, buddy. I, I've heard it. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my... More like... All sounds pretty implausible. I know what I saw, all right? But if you reckon you're more fearless than a gladiator, don't let me stop you going down there. Just see what happens. Does that one also have a hidden chamber underneath... <laughs> Good the, idea. The hidden chamber uh, gate, hidden chamber gate in in uh, in chat is really good. He has a name now. Okay, guys, what's the name of this zombie I'm about to kill? This guy is creepy. He is golden. Weird. Why is he golden? Can I just say it's actually surreal in this game where I've been like talking to people, wandering around, exploring nooks and crannies. It's just like 
exploring. Uh, it's really surreal to actually have gameplay in, the, in any kind of conventional sense, any kind of conventional gameplay. It's very strange. Like, I, I just killed something. I knew some golden statues like Opius are wearing skins. Go tell the gladiator you are better than him now. Got some gold. Lunar Pendant. There's a Latin inscription on the back which reads, Send dia def. What is this? Is that supposed to mean something to me? I love point and clicks. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of it. It's like if, if you were, uh, if you were playing a point and click adventure and suddenly the game's like, yo, jump on this Goomba real quick. Excuse me. Oh, more arrows. Crushed creature. An emaci emaciated human-like creature splattered in gold. Spattered in gold. It appears to have been crushed to death while entering the cistern from the cave beyond. More gold. Creepy. More arrows. Nice. Do I, am I going to need those arrows? Means day of something. Maybe death means death. Prevented the assassination. I presume there will be more golden rule violations soon. Possibly. Hey, there's something in the water there. Nope, never mind. For monster in basement, or are you already there? I already killed the, the monster. This is them. So, here's another Metroid moment. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Young Roman man po poses as if beckoning others to safety. Safety? Rest in peace, creature. Yeah, no, no kidding. Excuse me. What, what is your deal? What's the problem? What? Why? Why? What? What? What's up? You have something to say? Why? They deserved better than arrows to the face. I mean, did they? Cat wants lap time. Does your cat go wah? My, my cat does go wah. He also goes our. <laughs> those are the two sounds my cat makes. If there's like one of those little farm wheels, you know the ones. You know the farm wheel where you 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 spin the, the little arrow on the on the ca cow and it says the cow goes moo. My cat was on one of those wheels. You'd spin the arrow, and it would just be like, "The cat goes ah." Saw that joke coming from a mile away. Wario cat. Why? Why? 
Excuse me, I have the door or the lock. Oh, this is the. Thank you. Thank you. I am Aliolus. Okay, so what's next? I didn't really, I didn't really gain much from down there, if I'm being honest. Wahaha! <laughs> Wario is a cat. Citizen. Hello. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. We have. I is that a? I had this conversation too, and I'm in a hurry. Seems rather brash, but. I was hoping to ask you some questions about my investigation. Ask then. Uh, okay, apparently I've asked all of these questions. Good. Now. Nah. You know a way out of here? I'd like you to release Dooley. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. You gain the knowledge that you need to go back when you can do vine stuff. Eh, I suppose that's fair. When I can make uh, five to ten second videos, when I gain the vine ability. That joke isn't as funny now that TikTok exists. What exactly did he do? Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago during the Republic. The law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born. Well, you find the cultist the was about to be assassinated? Here, that was Maliolus. He has food, water, and shelter. And most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Do you know a way out of here? If I did, I'd have led these people out of here already. Thank you. I'll be... Okay. Uh, Maliolus so was the guy, was the system. cultist. Apparently he's Christian. So let's have a talk with him about it. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? Still don't have a TikTok account. Worship me. Neither do I, actually. So you're Quintius. Nervously hides Twitter account. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description in this execution order from Emperor, Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I have to use Twitter for our comms. I'm so sorry, Faust. It really, really sucks what's going on down right now. Apparently, Quinctius also suffers from delusions of grandeur. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. I can't prove it's you yet, but I will. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? Unnecessary sacrifice. I don't post really, just answer DMs. Want you to withdraw from the election. Uh, are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because if you don't, I'm going to kill you. You fool. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh. Apparently even talking about killing someone is, uh... Is not okay? Didn't know that, actually. 
interesting uh, discovery. And you know what? They talked about people um, like plotting to leave or escape the place uh, and even talking about it would said about the the golden rule having been broken. So, you know. How to find dirt on that guy, ask wife. Okay. Ride wife. Life good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Regret. Salve, friend. Salve. Uh, uh, uh I wanted to talk to you again. Of course. I'll be going now. Alright. Should have stolen his You know, I thought about that, um, cactus, you're not wrong, but I, I just like didn't want to have to dicker. A little bit with it but you're 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 absolutely correct i should have done that so i still have a bow yeah i do cool fear is proof of a degenerate mind have i been in here yeah i have thank you Oh, oh, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored to elect you. And now, having a bow isn't seen as a sin, even though the magistrate forbade it. Um, that is an interesting point. I mean, the magistrate forbade it. So it's his law, but not necessarily a law that uh, against the golden rule. Um, I know. Where do you keep your valuables? Donitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. This is outrageous. Whatever, lady. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. And having, I mean, he ordered that everyone um, threw throw their weaponry into the uh, the chasm. I don't think that he actually made it illegal to have a weapon, did he? Listen, I, I I'm sorry I did it this way, but like, she didn't have any any new information, so. Threatening to kill is a no-go. Threatening to rob is fine. Yeah, that's true. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? I don't know anything about this game. It's just how marriage works. I don't want to talk to this guy again. Yo. Uh. See you later. You got to go snooping for info. There has to be something like a note of some ish, maybe even talking to Mally after her. I mean, Galley. Ouch. No, the dude with the, uh, the speech. Oh, you mean Maliolus. Yeah, Maliolus. I mean, I just talked to him, but he, uh, he doesn't really, he's not budging. What, what bow unlocks except that zombie in the basement? That was all it was, yeah. I just needed the bow to, to get down there. Mm. I could give it to... Um, I could have given it to the dude that had the cure. 
if I didn't want to like steal it from him. But I already stole it from him. There's no point in, in, in taking it from him now. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while, actually, is I need to talk to the woman that's like, talk to everyone and uh, see what, what everyone has in common with each other or something like that. I haven't talked to her in a while. I, I, have, I find it difficult to find her, though. I can't remember what her name is. What do you need from the multicolored eyes again? I need him to bail out of the, uh, the election. I need him to bail out of the election and I need him to stop being so lame. Just what a lame dude. He's so lame. I don't know. I don't know what I need from him, really. Vines and pendant with some words. Yeah, I mean, there's some... There's a thing I can climb down there once I figure out how to climb vines. Maybe when I become lighter. Apparently, I have to shed a few pounds. What are you doing here? You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban, but I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself, but I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Sure. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Uh, come to life and fire golden bows, arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop, the goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interested? Uh, the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. Sure, I'm interested. Nah, I don't know. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? There are already loads of golden statues lying around. True, I, I don't understand. Sure, I'm interested. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar? with the story of the goddess Diana. No. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what. But you want me to steal it? Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'll be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a... a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Um... Well, the reason I am even following this path is because I'm interested to see if it leads to any more critical information. 
Like, for instance, where is the uh, Diana statue? Why can't I just take it? Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence my proposal. Why can't you do it yourself? I'm more of an ideas man. <laughs> an ideas Whereas man. You're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I have complete confidence in you. Isn't that extremely dangerous? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Archaeologist ends that Prometheus was also punished for eternity, if I recall correctly. Only because he was silly enough to get caught. That's all the questions I had. Yo, is this guy Patches? Is this a Dark Souls reference? So, are you in, partner? He really does sound like Patches. Um, if you don't like uh, action or horror elements, feel free to decline. Whoa. Sure, I'll do it. Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. And here we are. A gold leaf bow. Compass a bow covered in gold leaf. Yo, upgrade. Now I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Sounds, I don't know, sounds like fun. I'll get a golden bow, why not? And I also get to go into the, uh, the shrine of Diana. Silly enough to be caught. <sighs> And take talking about the man who got torched to eternity. They really gotta fix that door. It does not look right. Uh, why is it locked? Why is it locked? Why am I hearing flies? Whoa, weird. That's bizarre. Moths, moon goddess, the gold skin unlocked. It looks like blood. Yo, it's legit. Excuse me? Oh no, please do, don't don't add to, to Cavern Gate. Chad is already very insistent on this. There's always a cavern underneath. Yo, we got a sponge stick. Heck yeah, bud. Just have to find where Ulpius really went. Where am I? Also had a dead man already inside. Oh, chat, chat. Oh my God. I just, I, I, I don't need to be lighter. 
I just need to be able to turn things into gold. Oh my god. Yo, this is legit. I can turn those uh, the, the vines into gold. Oh, dang. That is actually really cool. <gasps> oh, I'm on the other side of uh, the crushed... The crushed dude. Wait, is that... Is that a stealth symbol? Take a look at the scrolls nearby. My beloved Galatea. I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. <laughs> Soon after my arrival here, as I walk down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me, a rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and, disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that, even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Um, so chat, I've, I've obviously streamed way longer than I intended to. Uh, I'm going to climb out of this thing and then I'm going to call, call the uh, stream there. pretty pretty good place to stop that was a that was a great reveal i i did not see any of that coming find a way into the palace oh we're in the palace i guess this wooden thing is not organic enough i wonder if at some point they're gonna the, the game is gonna make me like make those I'm gonna have to make those golden if I want to stop something from coming in. Oh shit. Oh shit! Uh, what? Kick it! Why are we so violent all of a sudden? Oh, that was a nice shot. 
Yo, get absolutely dunked on, child. You have a kick since when? I know this game is like, you know, very, very dialogue and puzzly. And then all of a sudden, it's like a game. It's like some kind of video game. Also, where am I? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, yeah? Those bushes are not, uh, oh, look, oh God, please make it stop. There's a, there's a freaking chasm or, or, or a cave underneath every single tile. <laughs> I hate that, uh, I hate that cavern gate in chat was, was correct this whole time. Can't get in there. I really like kicking the statues. Also, really, it's really funny that they're like, they make this weird little tin sound. Can I, like, turn this into gold? Where am I going? Oh, hello. That's just really fun. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to go that way, but... Oh, are we climbing over? What are we doing here? Down the hole? You're probably not wrong. Oh, God. Get dunked on. He still refuses to believe the truth about the caves. I know. I don't want to believe uh, Cavern Gate. I'm enjoying this. It's a little goofy, but... I'm assuming I have to turn these into gold and then climb up. Yeah. Well... Since I already did a lot of the work, I may as well collect whatever goodies there is. Oh, well, not much. Not much to speak of. Reminds me of the Battle Brothers somewhat. Yo, is that a Battle Brothers reference? Turn that jar into gold? Yeah, I could have. Oh. 
That is not, not ever funny to me. Plunk. Don't know what the purpose of that was. Oh, really? It's uh, two shots or one headshot. I hate how I have to specify economic now. Economic inflation bow. Why? Because, uh, if you don't, then, uh, suddenly it's weird. Suddenly we're asking if Imatan has a, uh, DeviantArt account. And if he's taking commissions from Faust. <laughs> Good stuff. Palace door keys. Nice. My beloved Galatea. After I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own insidious rumors, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned for my charity, I sought solitude, oh, no. preferring the company of my tormented charges. Disappearing away into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls, and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor, who fell in love with the beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name. It's one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, Elva. I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman you. I have ever known. Your face forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear Kill you speak. Me. Not just whisper, your true name to Kill me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. This is kind of going on and on. Oh no! Oh, I see there was a jar to lure them and then uh, I could have just like shot one arrow It's a capitalism bow They keep telling me about this fish sauce My beloved Galatea my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated 
by the discovery that beneath the cotton inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it, it exposed the skin and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. But I braced myself, expecting that I could be such pain would break the golden moon. And yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my feet, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated room of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day, we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. You can talk. Navia is basically a torture by this point. You. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, behind you. Oh God. You must be Navia. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. No. If you attack me, we'll both end up encased in gold. And you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me as long as you get what you deserve. This has nothing to do with me. Liar! I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her, to see her beautiful face, to hear her speak freely instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's so special about you? It's not just the statue whispering to me. A lot of them do it, but it's always the same voice. What do you mean the same voice? It's like someone else is whispering to me through the statues. Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? No. Liar. 
You tried to steal her away from me, and now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you too. I ended up here by accident. All I want to do is leave. What? What are you talking about? I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up into the palace. Wait. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? I never had any intention of hurting you. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? Oh God, I feel sick. I am. I can't bear the thought of her being like this. And so ask so her if she's seen Opius. Pain. Oh my God. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. Uh, I can undo this. It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I can cover her in gold again. What? How? This golden bow is the weapon that encases people in gold. Really? Uh, I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll, I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I mean, I imagine it would help Lucretia. I already found that. The suffering of those still in the city. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the. I already found that. You have nothing. And kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood. All right. You did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. Here's the key I promised you. It opens a chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things in there which may be useful to Lucretia. Like I said, I already have this. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Yeah, it's it's a late stream. Go, and never return. I'm uh, I'm just wrapping up this like portion of story that's had some really good twists and turns, and then uh, and I'm gonna call it. We. Okay. Save. Well, um, thank you all for uh, joining me on this very long stream. Um, it's been fun. There's been uh, there's been ups and downs for sure. 